All right, so uh, let's move ahead. Let me give you a situation where we have this kind of, I mean, suppose we have uh, this kind of isobutanamine. Now in this, what I do, I add CS3I. Now in the last reaction, we have been talking about the nucleophilicity of this amine group. This can act as a nucleophile guanidine carbon. Now here, iodine is a very, very good leaving group. Now this nitrogen, the lone pair of this nitrogen, this nitrogen can go and attack this carbon to facilitate the removal of iodine. And CS3 can come and form a bond with nitrogen. Nitrogen will generate a plus charge on itself. Now, we can get rid of that plus charge if H plus is removed. So after removing H plus from nitrogen, this is what we will have. Now nitrogen again has, an, has a lone pair and this lone pair can again be utilized to go for further reaction. If we have more of methyl iodide present in the system, there can be further reaction and the whole process will repeat one more time. Nitrogen still has a lone pair because you know when you when you remove H plus that, that lone pair is there again unutilized like this. Now again if one more methyl iodide comes and there is one more times this SN2 mechanism, then this time nitrogen do not have a hydrogen. So this time when nitrogen gains a plus charge, it has no mechanism to get rid of this plus charge. It will remain as it is. Fine. Now, now this is a quaternary ammonium ion because nitrogen is attached with four carbon it's a four degree ammonium ion now when you have reached to a quaternary ammonium ion like this at this stage if i'm adding a base then we have to see that what will happen now base when you hear of a base uh, you understand that this is going to abstract hydrogen because by definition that's what a base is base is going to abstract a hydrogen such that whatever is left behind is stable now as such there is no acidic hydrogen here because uh, it seems that there is no acidic hydrogen at least because there is no hydrogen attached to a more electronegative atom like oxygen or nitrogen or chlorine so uh, here all are carbon so uh, as such, uh, we don't find our acidic hydrogen here, but something will happen and uh, there could be elimination. Suppose a hydrogen is abstracted from this position and a leaving group comes out. So negative charge no more have to bear by that carbon. For example, in order to clarify what I am saying, let me give you a situation like this. You have chloroethane and you have added a base in this now as such this is a base this is not a nucleophile so don't think of this hydroxide ion removing this chloride ion and getting ethanol because that would be a nucleophilic addition reaction this is not a nucleophile this is a base so this is going to abstract hydrogen so when we study in reaction mechanism elimination reaction then we understood and we learned that base abstracts hydrogen in this case this base will abstract hydrogen from this position so this carbon will start to generate a negative charge on itself that negative charge will be pumped into the orbital of this carbon and this chlorine from here will come out like this so what we are going to have is a ethene so this kind of reaction we have seen before i'm just quickly revising you this Similarly, here something can happen. Now, in this case, we have a quaternary ammonium ion. This, if this, if this whole thing comes out. Now, this is a neutral molecule. Now, this can come out and 
it can be stabilized now this can come out of the whole substrate so this whole thing the quaternary ammonium ion this can act as a leaving group and come out in a neutralized form because it comes out it will come out taking away the electron of the bond and it will this nitrogen will be neutralized so it can come out as a leaving group fine now the question is there are two hydrogens there are two alpha positions basically so there are two kind of hydrogen if base abstracts a hydrogen from here then this carbon is going to pump electron into orbital of this carbon and this whole thing is going to come out so pi bond is going to develop at this position and what we are going to left what we are going to get is 2 butene similarly if base abstracts hydrogen from this position this carbon is going to pump electron into this carbon and this whole thing is going to come out so pi bond is going to develop at this position and we are going to get one butene so we have to discuss and understand that which of the two situation is more favorable okay first of all let's start the mechanism of abstract abstraction of hydrogen let us suppose that base is abstracting hydrogen from this carbon now as the base is abstracting hydrogen this carbon is generating some negative charge on itself now negative charge on carbon is not stable we have discussed this since we started studying reaction mechanism this negative charge will go into the orbital of this carbon now when this carbon starts to gain negative charge on itself now it will lose some electron to stabilize it and it will lose electron of this bond and when it loses electron of this bond this nitrogen is neutralized and it will be happy to gain that electron so when this bond is the electron is going into the orbital this bond is being broken so at the end the whole bond will break and it will come out now this is not a good leaving group because it's not a good leaving group so it will not have a great tendency to come out because it will not have a great tendency to come out then the charge is going to accumulate at this position and at this position so what will happen look there are two steps involved let's break it one step step number one is this base comes and abstracts hydrogen and goes away it goes away as h2o fine let's break it one by one suppose first step is over this base came it abstracted hydrogen now the charge is on this carbon now comes step number two when step number two is this charge is pumped into the orbital of this carbon and this whole thing comes out that is step number two now if step number two is very slow then step number one will be complete and step number two will still be in pipeline so base came and abstracted hydrogen and came out as water and this second step is, is still happening so if second step is still happening and step number one is fast then the charge will be still accumulated on the carbon and negative charge on carbon is not stable fine now if both the steps are happening simultaneously as base is abstracting hydrogen this is pumping in this is coming out in that case negative charge will not accumulate on this carbon now if there is an accumulation of negative charge then we have to worry because negative charge on carbon is not stable now in this case because the leaving group is not good then there will be accumulation because second step is going to be slow and first step is fast base came abstracted hydrogen went now negative charge is still there because this still has not come out if this still has not come out negative charge is still on this carbon so we have to worry about stability now negative charge in this case is on this carbon if we abstract hydrogen from this position the negative charge will be at this position now we have to compare which is more favorable shall the negative charge be on one degree carbon or it shall be shall it be on two degree carbon now based upon our understanding based upon the first lecture we ever had on organic chemistry that was of inductive effect we understand that the this alkyl groups have electron releasing effect and they increases the electron density so if we have two r groups attached to any carbon having negative charge both r groups will give an electron and that will increase the negative charge on the carbon that will destabilize it 